So welcome back guys to another video on Kids Coding Playground and today um, we are learning something new. We're going to be working on this game. Basically the player controls the spaceship and fires the lasers to blast the space rocks. Rock Blaster. So we will be learning these following concepts in Scratch. Hide and show, repeat until loop, when key pressed, touching sprite, and broadcast messages. Before I start, can you please like, share, and subscribe to our channel and comment below to see what, what content you wanna see. So I'm just gonna demo the game real quick. You use arrow keys, you try to shoot down the rocks. Some go quicker than the other you can lose. And then you get, get points by shooting the rocks. So let's start a new project. Okay, so we have to get the setup. So we can get the setup on the rocks. So we can take the rocks. Um, we can also take the rocket ship since they don't have the spaceship anymore. So now they only have the rocket ship. Um, we need the button because it looks like a laser. We can rename that later. Let's use this one because this one looks more like a laser. Um, we can also use, we have to draw the next sprite. It's um, a you lose sprite. So we can use pixel because it looks more pixelated in a game. So let's write game over. I think that's big enough. So we have to get our backdrop. You have to get our backdrop. Let's choose the. You can use moon if you want, but let's. See, I'm gonna use. Um. Stars. This one can look a little better. Some stars. So. We got all our sprites here. We have to make our variables now. So our variables, let's make the variable score. We have two variables to make score and speed. The speed controls how quick the rocks are going. So we can um, hide the variable speed so first things first, let's work on the rocket ship sprite. When flat click, because we always have to start with that, we always have to set the score to zero in the beginning because it restarts everything. And then let's see what we can do. Let's say probably 40, uh, not 40, probably 50, 50. So we can do set size to, let's say about, 50 and then we can make it go to around here maybe around here it's more closer to 180 so around here repeat until it'll repeat until um you know, it's touching one of the rocks and that's when they lose so if it's touching the rocks and then, yeah, so you gotta put the repeat until. Then you need two if then statements. Remember not to overlap them, because if you overlap them, it won't work. So you gotta put them outside there, not inside. So, and the, the up arrow, if the up arrow is clicked, or pressed, um, up arrow, then it'll change Y by 10, because it's more smooth. So we can make that go up. We can down arrow and then change y by negative 10. So I'm gonna try this out. We also have to 
we're actually not. Before we go on, we have to change this to 180. So, we can. So, yeah, let's start this so you can see. Um, you can move up and down. Um, so let's move on to the laser. So the button. So let's change this to laser. Um, when green flag clicked in the beginning, costumes. You. Can, you can pick any costume you want, but I'm going to stay with the standard one. So, if the oh, green flag is clicked, let's say about set size to about 10. So, size to about 10. So, and then it'll hide in the beginning because we don't want it to show up all the time. And then when the space key is pressed, it'll create a clone of itself myself because that's basically the laser and then when I start as a clone you need to go to let's say about negative 160 um, we go to sensing this is the tricky part so when we're using this we need to use the backdrop of stage so if you change the first one first it doesn't work you have to change the back one first so we're going to use rocket ship and then you put Y position of the rocket ship. You have to make it show. It'll repeat until it's touching the edge. So it'll keep on going until it'll touch the edge. And it'll move 10 steps. And it'll repeat until it's touching the edge. And then I'll delete the clone in the end. Remember to put it outside, not inside, or else it won't work. So, let's move on to the rock. So, so when the flag clicked, it'll show, it'll set size to, let's say, about 50. We don't want it to be that big or too small. So it'll, let's make it repeat five times and it'll create five clones of itself. And then make it hide. So then this is the big chunk of code. So this is the big chunk of code. So when I start as a clone, let's zoom in a little bit. It'll go to, we need the go to, let's say about 240x. So it's around this part. So then we also need to pick random. So it'll be up to 240 is about here. But if we pick random, it'll be like around here. So pick random, let's say negative 150 to 150. Why? So the speed is really useful. So some rocks are quicker than the other. So set speed to pick random. Negative two and negative six. So it'll repeat until it's touching the spaceship. So if the it's touching the spaceship or the rocket ship, it'll die. So I'll change x by speed, so it'll ch change the x by speed. You need the speed variable right here, so it'll keep on going by speed, so how fast it is. So we need if then inside, we need uh, this operator. So if negative 220 is bigger than the x position, That means it'll go to, let's say about 240. 
I notice we can just duplicate this. You can just put this inside here. So if then touching button, so that's when it's or the laser, because we renamed it. That means it'll change the score. You can use any score you want, but I'm gonna use by 100. So, and then we can duplicate this again and put this under. Um, and then it'll start the sound magic spell. So we can use sounds, let's go. So magic spell. It'll start the sound. Magic spell. Let's put it right here. And then it'll broadcast a new message because we haven't even made a message yet. I'll broadcast the message. Game over. So we can work on the sprite one slash the game over sprite. So we can rename it the game over sprite. When it start, we can also rename this to let's say space shooter. It will hide in the beginning, and then when I receive game over, then it'll show because that's when it comes out. And it'll play sound, so we can take a sound. So that's what it is. So play sound, lose until done. And then it'll stop everything, stop all. So for the rest of the code, the rocks, the rocket ship, and the laser, you'll have to put if when I receive game over, that means it'll stop the other scri scripts in this sprite. Let me just drag that inside there. So let's see, if it's right here. Okay. Let me just demo the game. So, so some rocks are slower, as you can see. Some rocks are slightly more quicker. You probably can't really see the difference, but some are some rocks are really qu really quicker, really faster, really quicker, way more quicker than the other rocks, basically. So I'm gonna show you when I die. So it says game over. So thank you for watching, guys. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment in the comment section what you want to see next, and see you next time.